I sure am glad to be home. I've been out on the road for the last two weeks and sick pretty much the whole time, uh, it, uh, just worn out. But I am so glad to be home. It's so great to be with my family, even to be back at the office. I go on vacation. Uh, uh, formerly, I went on vacation yesterday, but uh, there's a lot to do this week. So I, I'll get out there uh, next week or so. But uh, this past couple of weeks has been an interesting time for me. For the last seven weeks, I've had laryngitis. I hope my voice doesn't sound too bad today. I think it's about 85% better. Uh, inside, it doesn't feel good yet, and it doesn't last very long either. But uh, I'm going to get better. You know, there was a time over the last seven weeks when I wondered whether I had uh, done permanent damage to my voice. I, it started with a cold virus that was very, very bad, and it continues seven weeks later to have symptoms from the cold. Um, and during that time, I actually met people whose voices had been permanently damaged uh, by viruses. And I began to wonder, uh, especially after that fourth week, it was my worst uh, time, I began to wonder whether my voice was permanently damaged. And you know, for someone who's made their uh, career as a, as a preacher, <laughs> and whose primary identity is as a preacher of the gospel, that's a scary thought that your voice uh, might be damaged. It sure feels better to have it uh, coming back. Um, but it made me think a lot about my identity and who I am. And uh, that fits with uh, this week's blog entry, uh, which you'll be reading, I hope. It talks about our identity at Northwest University. Um, the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world. And so, who is it uh, that is in you? Uh, who is it in us and who is in you? Uh, well, I don't want to get into a who's on first kind of thing, but... You can read the blog and I hope you'll find it interesting. God bless you and thanks again for receiving the blog.